Apple may be working on a more affordable version of its Vision Pro headset, but will it ever lower the price enough to rival devices like the MetaQuest 3S? According to a report from Digitimes, Apple's upcoming mixed reality headset could feature an OLED display with a pixel density of 1,500 pixels per inch. For comparison, the original Apple Vision Pro, launched earlier this year, comes with an impressive 3,391 PPI display and a hefty $3,500 price tag. By opting for a lower quality display, Apple seems to be aiming at a more budget-friendly mixed reality headset. However, they're not alone in the race for affordability. Meta is also reportedly working towards similar goals. Meta's Quest 3S is priced at $2,999, the same as the Quest 2 when it first launched, though Meta later raised that to $3,999. The Quest 3, on the other hand, debuted at $499. While $499 isn't exactly cheap, it's a far cry from the Apple Vision Pro's $3,500 price tag, positioning Meta significantly ahead of Apple when it comes to affordability. If the Quest 3S really does hit a $299 price point, that would be roughly won by the 11th cost of the Vision Pro. Apple's upcoming affordable mixed reality headset will need to make some serious cuts to its price to compete in this space. Meta has already made compromises with the Quest 3S, reducing the screen quality to the same 1,832 by 1,920 pixel resolution per eye found in the Quest 2, compared to the Quest 3's 2,064 by 2,208 pixel resolution. Additionally, Meta might be adjusting its storage strategy, offering the Quest 3S in 128GB and 256GB options, while the Quest 3 now only comes with 512GB of storage. Originally, the Quest 3 had a 128GB variant, but that option seems to have been phased out. Yet, with only 128GB of storage, it raises the question, how much can you really do with that? The Quest 3S also maintains the same Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2 chipset, Adreno 740 GPU, and 8GB of RAM as the Quest 3, but replaces the more expensive pancake lenses with cheaper Fresnel lenses to lower production costs. Given the Vision Pro's sluggish sales, reducing its price will be crucial for Apple if it wants to stay competitive in this market. Comparing the Apple Vision Pro to the MetaQuest is like putting a Nissan up against a Ferrari. Yes, they're both mixed reality headsets just as both are cars in the analogy, but they target entirely different markets. However, when it comes to success, the gap is quite clear. Meta's VR vice president, Mark Rabkin, revealed that by early 2023, the company had sold 20 million Quest headsets, according to The Verge. As for the newer Quest 3, TechFirst reports that it reached 1.25 million units sold by June 2024. In contrast, the Apple Vision Pro is struggling to gain traction. As of July 2024, Bloomberg reported that sales hadn't crossed 100,000 units, based on data from analyst firm IDC. Additionally, industry analyst Ming-Chi Kuo stated back in April that Apple had to lower its 2024 Vision Pro shipment target from 700,000 to 800,000 units, down to just 400,000 to 450,000, citing, demand in US markets has dropped significantly beyond expectations. While it's true that MetaQuest and Apple Vision Pro are designed for entirely different audiences, there's no denying that one is seeing far greater success than the other. That's why it's crucial for Apple to develop a more affordable version to remain competitive. Reducing the Apple Vision Pro's 3,391 PPI display down to a more affordable 1 of 500 PPI will certainly help lower the cost. But with a starting price of $3,500, is that really enough to bring it into a reasonable price range? This likely won't be the only adjustment on the horizon. According to The Information, Apple's Vision product will likely see fewer features before the end of 2025. Bloomberg previously reported that the cheaper model could be priced between $1,500 and $2,500. While that's significantly lower than the original model, it's still nowhere near the affordability of the MetaQuest. It remains to be seen whether Apple's more budget-friendly version will find success, but it will be interesting to see how the market responds to this lower-cost device. That wraps it up for today. What do you think about the MetaQuest 3S? Is it really worth the price? 
or does paying less mean getting less? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more tech content in your feed. Thanks for watching.